I did a video about sorting wheel weights, but I wanted to give a visual representation of different types. Over here, this whole column is zinc. The ones in the middle are lead, and the ones on the right are all steel. So, if we take a closer look here, the zinc ones, most of them have a Z on them. They all have an indicator and say Z or ZN, except for there are a couple I found, this one and this one, and they only have numbers on them. They don't say or have any indication that they're zinc. And this little guy here too. At first I thought they were lead, but luckily I, I noticed from the sound that they made, um, when banging them against something they didn't sound right so I tested them with a pair of cutters and they were very hard. These ones down here are also zinc stick-ons. As far as stick-ons go these guys are lead. You can tell they're lead because they scratch really easily they're very soft and these over here are steel which will stick to a magnet of course as far as lead ones go, you know, they don't say lead on them, but when you tap them against something, they make a very dull sound. And when you test them with a pair of cutters, like right there, they, you know, you can mark them or cut them very easily. You can see where I've tested different ones. And as you work your way through them, you'll learn to recognize them, like these unlabeled zinc ones. You know, I've burned it into my brain what those look like so I can readily identify them. Now steel ones aren't as big of a problem because there's not really a chance that those are going to melt in with your lead. Um, and the steel ones, all the printing on them is stamped into the steel. Whereas on the lead, the lettering is raised and on the zinc, the lettering is raised. So on the steel ones, you know, if if you miss some of those, it's not going to be a big problem. The lead stuff melts in the 600 and something degree range. The zinc will melt in the high 700s. So as long as you control your temperatures when you're melting a mix, and you keep your temperatures down below, say, 750 to be safe, or even down closer closer to 700, then all of your zinc and all of your steel will float to the top and you can just scrape it off and you'll be left with only lead. If you get your temperatures out of control then you might get some zinc melted in and then you're going to have problems. As far as the steel ones go I like to sort them out anyways just so that you know they're out. They, some of them have rust some of, some of them look like they're stainless or maybe they're um, plated in something but most all of the steel ones do say FE on them in one place or another. There's only a few that don't. But like I said, the steels aren't that big of a deal if you miss them. I typically sort them out so that what I'm melting I know is lead. And I, I use a thermometer just to be safe. That way I don't accidentally get any zinc in there if I did miss some. That is a quick introduction to what some of the different types of wheel weights look like.